What's up, guys, and welcome back. We're here with another episode of our Rome to Rise of Republic multiplayer campaign with myself and Scrim. Hello. And uh, it's been a little while since we've done an episode of this. I do apologize for that. We've both just generally been busy and we've just like. We've missed each other. Like, one of us has been going out to do something, or one of us and the other one's come in. Yeah. So, uh. And then one day we did do some. We were going to do some recording. We were going to do like an hour and a half, two hours, and uh, the internet was crap. So yeah. That was, uh, so. The really frustrating to work with was it last Tuesday, I think it was? Yeah. Yeah. That was a yeah. bit frustrating. Ah, uh, well. But anyway, we're here, we're sorted, we're ready to go. So I think in my last episode, in my last move, I was atta- moving towards Cassinum to take that out from the Volsky, who are basically making Antium Fort Knox, and it's going to be impossible to take it from them. So I'm not going to try. Yeah, you um, take it from me as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will not be having to do that. It will be Fort Knox for when you eventually get up here, if you ever do. Um so yeah, that is the plan is now to go down to Cassinum and then come down to Freglia and attack Antium, uh, attack one of their armies either between Antium and Cassinum or between Antium and Freglia. Hopefully they don't go north towards Rome because that is not where I want them to go because the smaller army I don't think could take either of their armies, either of their armies out really. Um, so yeah, I will end the turn and pass over to Scrim. Let him do his thing. Okay, so local bandits have offered their service to the immediate opposition. How do you proceed? Uh, wait, 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 they've offered the services of the immediate opposition. I can accept or refuse. What am I accepting? I don't know. Am I accepting the fact of doing it, or do I refuse? I wouldn't have a clue. It, it, the wording, it, local bandits have offered the services to the immediate... to Oh, intermediate with the opposition. Uh, you, can say, you can see I'm still a little bit uh, tired. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, yeah, let's talk with the enemy. Why not? That sounds fun. Right, so what I was doing was I've just consolidated my position here uh, in Sicily. Uh, I'm now going to go take out Carthage. Now, Carthage has decided to re-establish uh, themselves on Sicily. They still had uh, Matea. They always had that, but there's a few armies kicking about, which I'm yeah. not sure they've been defeated yet. So we're going to move our army down to Galia. Okay. If I've said that right. I have no idea uh, where any of these places are, but I'm going to believe... South of Sicily, basically. Ah. Um, I'll put them on Force March because I've got nothing, got no reason not to, basically. I've also got a second army here. You're going to go to, uh, you're going to go to, or you're going to go on the border between the two capitals, or Agion and Lenotini, which is central Sicily for you, Pope. Because uh, you're going to be building some more units as a defense force of Sicily. Are you going to have to uh, invade yeah. Africa? I'm off to invade Africa, yes. Ooh. Um, Although it's a bit of a risky move because I haven't got. Have I got a navy? Where's my navy? I thought you had a small one from I watching some of your videos. There it is. Uh, I'm going to port that in Galea. When mm-hmm. uh, it eventually does get there, uh, I'll probably build up a little bit because it will be very risky for me to go to Carthage. I might scoop down to the very bottom of the map to kind of uh, evade any enemy ships because they will probably have a few more than I do and uh, do some damage. In the meantime, we're going to do some building. So, what are we going to build? So, we were building our industry here. That's probably a smart move. Uh, it's going to be industrial, so... I like that you have money. I don't even have any of that sort of thing. As, I wouldn't say I've got a lot of it, but I've got enough to um, make some headway. I make so, let's talk about... to go. <laughs> I'm on 1,500. Um, wow. So, we could do 120 wealth. Or we could do 10% increase in agriculture throughout, which would be another 10, another 20. Let's do some bold, uh, let's put some actual money in our pockets. We'll do some uh, upgrading later and I'll end my turn. Okay. See what happens. Hopefully the Volsky don't do anything too bad. The Senons are moving away. For some reason the Senons just like came down the coast of Tarkuna. Oh. And towards me, and then just decided to go back north again. You got something on. Oh, no. Carthage looked like it was doing something. Carthage has moved a very big army towards the enemy, uh, oh, okay. towards my allies, even. So I might not be able to move to Africa yet. But we'll oh, see what the happens. Volsky moved a huge army towards me. Oh, dear. I don't know if I can stop them. And my veterans well, upgraded. They're made of peasants, and he'll beat me because I do not know how to use light infantry. Well, it's 8 against 20, Scrim, so uh, I don't think I'm going to... Oh, actually, that might be... Uh, that might be enough. 
Yeah, I'm more of a heavy armor sort of like battle lines, flank cavalry sort of thing. Very mm. generic, but uh, very effective. Well, I'm going to take Kassanum, or certainly raid it. Uh, this is a... Oh, I'm just going to go with 91%. I think I don't even think I could do better. So we'll take that. Um, oh, I've got silver chevrons now on quite a few of my units. <laughs> I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna occupy because I need the money. Um, money, 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 indeed. Um, I could knock every. I'm gonna knock everything down because I've got. So, there's so much food. I already have so much food. I have 35 food a turn. God, you got more than me, and I thought I was the agricultural powerhouse. No, here. I have got an insane amount of food. I'm gonna start recruiting more units though for this army that is uh, probably never gonna have to fight. Um, that 20 stack. Rome is, the coming power. Rome is the coming power indeed. Indeed, Rome is rising. The Republic is rising. It is. Well, will it built... rise for its full glory? Only time will tell. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> 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 well, it's going to turn to an 11 stack by the end. So 11 v 20 will certainly be better. And I have cavalry in this army. So... Oh, God, be... I forgot about that. I've got my fearful. physical risk. Um, okay, Latin is going up. Excellent. Latin is going up here as well. Latin and Italian in my uh, in Roma keeps changing and going up by like three percent and going down by three percent. Like Italian goes up by three percent, three point two percent, and it disappears entirely, and then it becomes one hundred percent Latin, and then it reappears. And I hold the entire province. I have since the beginning. I have cultural stuff going on in here anyway, just for like happiness and just like it's there as extra. Yeah, and it's just such a strange thing. I'm just watching it, just like and just like, all right, yeah, just you carry on doing your thing. It'll be fine. Um, also, I haven't checked. As, oh yeah, I'm at fifty three percent chance of uh, oh civil that's war. Pretty bad. Yeah, I don't know if I should have spent that money on um, troops. Actually, I'm gonna cancel that, and I'm gonna see if I can afford to. I can't actually secure loyalty. I'm just sure. How much am I oh, sure? I'm sure by dear. thirty. 30 uh, pennies. Oh no. That is ridiculous. No, oh no. It doesn't cost to actually. I might as well just spend the money on troops then. Because if I have a civil war, I'm going to need the troops. In that. With that theory. Um, I found another faction. Who are you? The. Plaguey. Oh, you really like the Volsky that I'm at war with. That's annoying. And I found you. Uh, no. Okay. Are you raiding again? Are you raiding? No, you're not. You're not actually doing anything. Excellent. Right. I'm reluctantly going to end the turn, Scrim, because I think I've done everything. I've recruited, I've... Have you politically sorted yourself out? Oh, no, I don't have the money. <laughs> oh, dear, this will be interesting. 53%, remember, I... Yeah, 7%, you, like, was it even 7? It was possibly... No, like... it was less than that, I think. I think it's literally, like, on the cusp of, like, 5, 3, 1, even. Yeah, so I'm... Yeah, I remember being stupidly low, because I basically just slammed my headset down, going, I do not believe this happened. Yeah... No, I'm going to try. Oh, I might go for arsonist. Get a bit of arsonist for my, uh, my guy. I'll end the turn and we'll see what happens. I mean, a child you... is born. What? A child is born. So I I I uh, intermediated with the opposition and I had a baby instead. Oh, nice. Oh crap. Okay, the influence of the opposition has decreased as well as the loyalty towards you. No, I did not need that. I'm now at forty-one percent. Oh, I can't. What a rebellion. Loyalty. Oh yeah, God. I can't secure loyalty because I've already done that. So I am in a. You're in the same very... same sticky position then. <laughs> yes, and the successor is also in command of an army. Uh... Oh, I don't have anyone in charge of my armies. Luckily, I have like One, loyalty, three, four, Camillus and Medellinus both doing their thing. Thank God. Oh God! Right, let's look at politics. What can we do? I could purge them. Uh... <gasps> Organise like a massacre of all who support this party. I think that's that a lot of angers them a lot more. It does, but I don't know if that helps stop them being so dangerous. Uh, I can't. Right, here we go. That's the screen I wanted. Uh, right, what can we do with you? 
Secure promotion. No. I'm looking at the cost of. Mm. I'm looking at the cost of the Volsky units, and I'm really hoping that, like, because of their cost, they are really bad. Because there's like 28 they're costing, nine, um, 40 something. Like only their there's native Volsky spearmen cost 85, and then there's yeah. Volsky warriors costing 91. Hopefully, because my my basic like my basic troops that I'm now recruiting are costing 95. So hopefully, I just route everything. Well, I've just done a bold move, and yeah. the army, the enemy, the army of my political opposition, I've just disbanded. So hopefully, they will not just suddenly take an army and go go raging war everywhere. You so need that to, should, you should probably help start me out. adopting some people if you need to increase the size of your faction. I don't need. I don't think I even need to do that. I just need to find a way to pacify these guys. Yeah. Um. Five loyalty for target party. I can send emissary to two of them. Uh -huh. That will get them down again. Uh, gravitas. I don't want to give them extra gravitas. So send diplomat to you. Um, why don't you actually? Who? Right. Okay. I'm going to do some political stuff here. Croton. You do want a non-aggression pact. I'm just and racing south as much as possible to stop deny you from coming onto the main part of Italy. Hey, I'm just gonna try and race south to go get as like as far south as possible to deny you getting onto Italy because Croton, I know where that is. That's down like right on the tip of. It's it's close enough, yeah. And I don't I don't want you on the mainland. Sicily's bad enough. I mean, <laughs> spit on you. Um. <laughs> also, oh, people right. like you'll never get Sicily anyway. Um... No, it's true. I probably won't. I won't. I don't have a fleet to start with, and I may be rebelled against anyway. Okay, I'm sending all the enemy faction to to send as diplomats. So you're going to Croton. And you, my friend, cannot do anything because you're currently unavailable. That should hopefully decrease my 22%. That's halved. Excellent. I could do I, yeah, I should probably do the same. You, you send them... It doesn't cost much to do. I didn't realize you can do it to multiple people and it all increases, but it has spent a bit of money. Uh, but I have got some more now because obviously I disbanded that army. So... What are we going to do? We need to stop you from being unhappy to begin with, so we're going to change you into Hippodrome, I think. Yeah. No, because that's a lot of money I'm losing. Never mind. No, we probably should actually. Do that. That's actually increasing disorder. Ah. Culture difference. It's huge. Actually, who am, I, who am I doing here? Let's get a fountain up. Like I've taken, I've just realised I've taken Cassinum, but it's actually probably going to revolt very soon. So I might just revolt. like, leave. yeah, well, you know, rebel, revolt. Okay. So I mean, I might just like leave it or re replenish here a few turns, move on to the next one, and just let like the Volsky then deal with the rebels if they even yeah. dare. Right, my army is now on its way to Jalea, and I'm going to get some more ships because I can. In fact, we can screw them. We're going to screw the fountain for the time being. We're just going to build ships. Excellent. So we've got two more ships in the goings. We're going to beef up this army with a couple more. No, not her light hoplites. Oh. Actually, should I get light hoplites? I recommend them highly from my from the Wrath of Sparta campaign. They work very well. Yeah, I need something that hits on the flanks and stuff quite quick. So, Yeah, let's get some light hoplites. Let's get this army properly, uh, properly established. And I guess I'll end my turn. So Carthage isn't, isn't trying to get back to the uh, old capital I took off them. Oh, I just really hope that nothing happens in a rebellion state. Oh, Carthage. Oh, Carthage. What are you doing, Carthage? Uh, not, nothing too major because we've moved on. Oh, the Volsky is sending up another army. And it's attacking a big old army <laughs> oh, dear. oh dear you're being attacked yeah by about 3,000 troops against about 1,900 no more than 3,000 3, oh, about 3,400 oh bummer I'm definitely going to have to fight this oh yeah I've got a very good advantage here yeah Oh, lots but, of skirmishers. Yeah, lots of skirmishers. Lots of skirmishers. I've got some decent swordsmen kicking about. A few, yeah. Yeah, okay. This could be interesting. I probably shouldn't have gone for Cassinum as quickly mm. as I wanted to, but hey. I mean, it's Gary. Oof, yeah. Hmm. 
I mean, my skirmishers. I've got cavalry, though. I have cavalry. Ah, oh, you and your cavalry. So, uh, we'll see what happens. I probably should have told you I had cavalry, but hey. Oh, I saw them on the thing anyway. Oh, okay, fair enough. Back on the battlefield, guys. We, we are, are indeed. I am about to set up my army. Well, I'm actually probably going to let Scrim do his first, and then I'll... Oh, I don't know what I want to set up, to be honest. Because uh... yeah. the thing is, when you have your initial army, you have to wait for reinforcements. Is it worth sending in your initial army to soften you up, then go in with a bigger force? Yeah. Or they'll just hit you all at once? I think... Well, no, because I think that's just a lot of micro. I think if you do one at a time, it's probably better. Yeah, but then that's two smaller forces you're dealing with, and you're in a stronger position. I'm I saying, never know. I'm I always nothing. like to have everything on the on the on the board. Oh, yeah, Italian spearmen. I'm tempted to send you home because you're just crap. <laughs> I'm tempted to send. <laughs> you're that bad. I don't even want you here. Like you're literally here to make the army look bigger for the enemy. When the battle actually comes, just go back, have um, a cup of tea. Okay. I know it's not been invented yet in uh, Europe, but you know, find a substitute. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go with something like that. I really probably should have let you set up. Yeah, um, it's all right. Um, no. Actually, no, I'm not gonna let you set up. What am I talking about? This isn't uh, this isn't Rafa Spa. Well, even <laughs> still, I feel like out of uh, kindness, you should have. Look at that. The numbers I have against me are substantial. We'll put it like that. <laughs> substantial with these unarmored soldiers, of which you have slaughtered on several occasions. Yeah, yeah, but this is the different. <laughs> day. This is different this time, Scrim. Uh, we'll start with that, we'll see what happens. Um, you can't see my men. I can see some of them. I can see quite a lot of your men, actually. Shit. Enemy reinforcements appearing on the same side these attacks. Here we go, right. There's my... Um, oh, I joke. forgot about my boats. Oh, well. I've got you no... Got boats. Yeah, I have no... Oh, you got boats! I have no risk of losing them either, so... It depends what you do with them, to be fair. Well, yeah, I just meant more... You have no boats to ram my boats. Yeah. Ram. <laughs> boats. Yeah. Ram the boats. Uh, we'll go like that. And we're marching forward with my unorganized peasant horde. These guys move ridic quite quickly. <laughs> I was going to say ridiculous. You're trying to choose. Yeah, you yeah, can see they're choosing between the two. Ridiculous or quick? Quite. Um, I'm gonna... One of Rome's oldest enemies, the Volsky, will fight as long as hard as they must. i got some veterans. Really? So wow. Have a chat. Yeah, I got some veteran units. Oh. Vol uh, mercenary Volsi veteran, to be exact. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah. They're one of the only ones that I kind of am a bit scared of. Then I've obviously got Italian veteran swordsmen. Experience of open warfare is a rare commodity and therefore worth a premium amongst the generally accept uh, peaceable, peaceable, peaceable. Is that a word? I presume so. Generally peaceable Italian tribes. I'm presuming it means generally peaceful. I've got some Volsky warriors as well, which look a little bit beefier than my standard. Uh... standard oh, I've actually got some swordsmen, um, Italian spears. Have they got shields? Do they have shields in their unit thing? And they have got shields. Okay. All right. Okay. This is turning into an interesting little. Uh... <sighs> he's a bit more pleased with what he's got now. Mercenary Volsky veterans. I've got two of them. Oh, oh. my god. Okay. You're blessed. Uh, yeah, for once I've actually got something I can use. Well, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of... Sp <laughs> it's a lot of... It's a lot of crap. <laughs> yeah. All in column formation. To... Just send it all at uh, one spot, Scrim. You know it'll be funny. I... I... Four... Two... Wow, <laughs> uh, he's, he's, he's weighing up the odds. I'm trying to figure out what to do with the crap units. Just send them home. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Send them out with my veterans, see what happens there. Right, so that's my attacking force. Uh, two can go there. You can go there. One, two. Why? I don't know why you're doing that. Uh, uh, uh. Right, there's my swordsman. There's my next force. Oh my god, I've actually got native tribesmen. Oh you yeah. You just have daggers. Yeah. They're not great. Yeah, so that's the correct terminology. Uh, yeah, it's the uh, polite way of putting it, put it like that anyway. Eight. I could certainly say worse. 
these boys, they just look, well, very un unprotected is certainly one word I'd use. A few, yes, indeed. I think one arrow or a slinger or a javelin, and you know they're in a bit of trouble. Yeah, see what happens. Oh, yeah. Well, I feel like we know what happens if they get a sling or an arrow or a javelin to them. They they, they, they die, Scrim. <laughs> they die. <laughs> But yes, there are a lot of. I them. know. It just depends whether my javelin meets you, uh, gets to you first. Oh yeah, I just feel like I, my guys could possibly take one or two more. I'd like to hope anyway, just for the sake of this battle. Right. Also, the balance of power looks slightly better in my favor. Well, not in my favor, but you know. It looks better than before. Yeah. It looks more healthy. All right, let's speed things up since my army's now in a. Uh, come on, we'll go to speed. Yeah. I'll agree on two speed, because that's a large army. I don't know what you're going to do. <laughs> it's just a mismatch of troops. I love it when they're all so disorganized, and all of a sudden you just see them slowly forming up bit by bit. Yeah. Um, something's happened here. Why? What's happened? No, nothing bad. Just I want to know who these guys are. Oh, right. <laughs> I've got more units than I thought. Oh, well, I forgot pull, about them. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm putting it back to play then because I'm not because a you're getting close and stuff's starting to happen. Just me remembering I've got stuff to play with really. Oh. That's nice. <laughs> oh, also, all you guys, you better be on skirmish mode. <laughs> Shoot him down, boys. Shoot him down. Right. That's, uh. That was a very exasperated right. Right, <laughs> then. Go on, in you go. Well, Do some damage. It? Where's his elite stuff, then? All the way at the back here. Uh, okay. One of these is his general. I should know. Yeah, where is your general? Oh, he's here, right at the front. Decimus Marcellus. Oh, okay. Missile infantry ready. Swords. Yeah, not much I can do with that. Sorry, chaps. Oh. At speed. Ready. Not much I can do. I'll just rather... Not much I can do. <laughs> There's so many arches. Hmm. I'm just doing what I can with them, really. There's a lot of them. <laughs> just focusing down that poor one unit. Yep, they broke. <laughs> Yikes. What's he got here then? Mercenary Latin Warriors. Oh, they're the trash ones that I even hire. That even Rome hires! Ooh. It is currently a bloody battle. A bloody battle. units use all its ammunition. <sighs> You're bringing up even more bloomin' arches. <laughs> God, it's so devastating. <laughs> Seventy three. I know they're great, aren't they? It's ridiculous. They shouldn't shouldn't be allowed to do so much damage. Um, oh, that flipping! S <sighs> well, this has just gone. This has gone from one disaster to another. How you doing there, buddy? Not great. Oh 
Okay, here we go. We're going in. It seems, it seems that's it. It's, it's time to go in. Time to do some stuff. I think I'm just gonna have you back here, to be honest. Run them down, boys. Run them down. Melee infantry ready. Ready for orders. Italian cavalry. Spears. Oh, just disgusting. Oh, fuck. Pull back. Our men flee the field of battle. Disgusting this amount of thing. killing you're doing right now. Unfortunately, your cavalry do not do too well against skirmishers, so I've uh, just noticed. Uh, no, they're, they're not doing too healthy. No. They're the ones I was trying to recruit as well. But hey. You literally just got all your things in one, but all your skirmishers just together. No, I've got more. I mean, I could say the same about you, Scrim. <laughs> Where are the rest of your skirmishes? I mean, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm not hiding it. So, no, no, no. I, I was. I can also confirm that I have uh, got nearly all of my skirmishes in one, in one spot. Not quite all of them, but nearly all of them. There we go. Jobs are good enough. Okay. Oh, he's sending his mercenaries, I see. The mercs have been sent in. God, my units are always so bad. Why are they so... Bad. Go, keep this going. I'm feeling a little bit more confident, but I'd like that cavalry still. I'm not quite sure what that other one was doing. To this day. That Roman Swords unit just instantly broke as soon as that horde arrived. Yeah, it certainly looks like it. It's disgusting. Here comes some more elite units. I'm losing slightly to these Mercery Volsky. Apparently they're just insane. No, I mean, there's no support from your archers or anything. It's just these... It's because they're all nearly out of ammunition. What? Your archers? Well... They're getting there. <laughs> they're getting there. They're get... you know, they're, they're doing alright. You're just trying to pull that general unit through, I see. Not gonna happen, Cham. Not gonna happen. Actually, you kind of did exactly what I wanted you to do, so crack on. <laughs> uh, what? Just like send another unit in? Yeah, I was trying to get your swordsman out when you did that. So, oh no, that's a fresh unit that's just gone in. Well, I say fresh. Oh, that's nice. That's good. That's perfect. Oh, he's actually broken as well. Yeah, he broke. Wow, ran. Did the whole heebie-jeebie. Oh, I didn't realise that I nearly broke here. Brilliant. Would have been handy to have that cav now. I wonder why units use all its ammo as well. Brilliant. Hmm. I believe all. I believe everyone's just out of bullets now. <laughs> out of bullets. <laughs> I know, we've been talking about Napoleon in the break. Oh, um, I should know. Do -do -do -do. 
It's going to be interesting, but I think I'll lose. It's still, still got reserves coming up now as well. Yeah, that's what I mean. And you don't think I could physically kill anymore. I really needed that cavalry to survive. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh god, I actually left my decent units to last. I'm happy with that. I've done that accidentally too. What do you mean you left your decent units to last? Oh, you still got Volsky Spearman. Go. What? Oh uh, yeah, now you, now you're, in, now I'm in trouble. You are indeed. Now I'm in trouble. Um, get them back here. Yeah. I mean, some units haven't even been in combat yet. That's just. Yeah, it's not looking good. I'm just breaking now, like across the board. Even if, like, even though I have a healthy general. <laughs> <laughs> It's just, they just know the time is... Oh, this is not good because this is, means I'm going to lose... Well, I am going to now lose part of Ro Rome's central territory. I need to bring that main army back. <sighs> Excellent. Alright, let's get these guys rested. We'll get you guys back a little bit. Let's... Attack there. Our general is under attack, you are right. Not much, not many places you can go, chum. Not many places you can go. Um, right, okay. Uh, yeah, this is not looking good now. I don't even know where these, yeah, where I sent these guys now. Okay. Oh, because apparently, yeah. Uh, well, those those levies or oh, a sense you can die, a painful death. Oh, and they all got encircled. That is not pleasant to see. And some centurions mm. as well in there. I don't know if they were my actual ones. I don't think they were my ones I bought. They're just garrison ones, so they can die. Happy to. Oh, here we go. Yeah. It's all kicking off now. It is, yes. It's going to be your first victory against me in God knows what, how long. Many episodes. As, as the enemy that you've been beating for a while now too, but... Yeah. yeah. Sorry about that. Oh, well, I don't feel like you are, to be honest. I'm, I'm really not. I'm, you know, I think it's time to have one back. Your your um, levies don't know, really know what... No, well, they're all on skirmish mode, so they're like... They don't want to... Skirmish mode. Yes. Yeah, they're all in skirmish mode, so they just like... They like get close to you, want to throw a javelin, and then they run away. So... I mean... Some of my units are still fresh as a daisy. Yeah. That makes me happy. Yeah, it's annoying. Your it general's isn't... about to get absolutely sandwiched. <sighs> it is sad to see. I'm sorry, but they're veteran Centurion A, or where, how you say Centurion I, so they're, they're going to be okay. I'm doing a poor showing of Rome to you today, it's uh, not, a, not a pretty sight. Hopefully we can re-raise an army and put some troops into the combat straight away. He says. And here we go. Yeah, this is, this is the one. They're breaking on, they're breaking on 116, that is ridiculous. <laughs> the broken. Yeah, broken, gone, dead. Everything's dead. That was a close victory. Oh, I got an achievement for that master tactician. I uh, don't feel like it was a close victory. I feel like it was decisive. You had fresh units, like you said. You had a, oh. so many. I lost all but 200 and killed nearly 1,500. So you still had 2,000 uh, men. My own troops, apparently. Yeah, you killed a lot. Of my general's troops. apparently not that very good. No, no, I don't think so. I gunned him down. It's those mercenaries that were good. They were nasty. They were nasty. Uh, they did get chewed up by your infantry, but I think just my skirmishers just chewed you right up. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, if I had the two cavalry units, I think after the general died, I could have done a lot of hammer and anvil and a lot more damage. But I still think the the like the the, the, the same outcome was going to happen. You have annihilated the general and one Latin spearman. The rest are still fine. Yeah, I lost Ost Ostia, which is not great. And they're now going to go on to Sistra. Wait, yeah. did you say your units have veterancy? My units? Yeah, it's Silvers. Uh, no, that's the other elite army. Oh, right. Well, okay. I was going to say, I was actually quite impressed I managed to build some uh, veteran units. But... No, no, no. The the army that's campaigning is uh, the veteran one. 
Um, I've also been attacked again, but I feel like we should leave this for another episode because this is uh, going to be another close one. But I think, well, this time it's 1300 against 1200, so I should be able to Indeed. push you back. So I will end the episode here and say thank you very much for watching, guys. If you have uh, enjoyed the episode and are new around here, please leave a like and subscribe. And until next time,